Hello guys, this is Dennis Pearson again. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the sampler called NN19 in Reason. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I usually use it for. Uh, and going to show you why I use it over a redrum. So um, I'll go ahead and create a NN19 right here so we can see the interface. Like the interface is uh, really smooth on the NN19, not too many buttons or knobs. Um, so we have the filter and the amp and the envelopes and everything. So this is really neat for uh, like if you have a kick that's too long or a crash that's too long, like yeah, it has a lot of sub end and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna just paste in a kick right here so you can see how I usually work with it. So um, let's just draw in a like the standard pattern, which is like this, like four four. And uh, like why I use this over a redrum is that it has a filter on it, like native, and amp, and a envelope, so I can just change stuff like this. So it sounds like this, like straight away. Like, and we have a pitch and a sample start so if you feel like the sample is like too sharp you can just use the sample start to you know start the sample a little bit into the sample so why do I use this uh, over a reason no I mean a redrum um, once again that, that's because of the filters and everything so um, let me just add a redrum and see uh, I can show you exactly why um, so I'll just paste this down here and change that to, oh, whoops, I can't do that. And I'm going to just paste in the standard loop here. So right here we have eight, no, I mean 10 different um, samples you can use on the redrum. So how exactly would you go about uh, EQ and, and like manipulating each sample? Well, you'd have to go on the background of the redrum, which is uh, you press tabulator and you see all of these has like volume knob, I mean amplitude knobs going out um, for the cables. And I found, find this a little bit uh, sad and bad because um, I, wa I want to do it like straight away. So in order to do it in uh, like at uh, SD NN19, I'll just right click the NN19 and create an EQ as an example um, uh, and straight away we have an EQ so if I do this down here right click and paste a new EQ here and do the same um, you'll see that of course yes sure this is EQ the right way but what if I add another um, sample here um, let's just take another ram random sample and I don't want that to have the EQ. Then I'd have to go over to the back of the uh, of the rack here, and I'd have to paste from like from the redrum one into the EQ and up to a mixer, which is it, it doesn't really make sense to me why I need to do that. So why I I use the the end of 19 you like you have the answer right here. Um, it's it's m much more nicely that you can manipulate a each and every sample but as a like as an example the redrum is perfect for hats and close hats and stuff like that so you can just eq away all the bottom end or uh increasing the high end a little bit and the treble stuff like that it's really easy to do with uh, the redrum so i think i went over what i uh, would use it for today um and i hope you learned a little bit Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe if you liked it. Bye bye.